Shitetsu Watanabe, who is 112 years and 344 days old, as verified in Joyce Niigata Japan. There's an undeniable allure to the category of the world's oldest living people. When news of a new record holder emerges, it spreads like wildfire, capturing the attention of people worldwide. Who wouldn't be intrigued by those who have reached remarkable ages? Brace up as we delve into the lives of supercentenarians. These individuals have lived well beyond the ripe age of 110. Their stories prove the resilience of the human spirit and the mysteries of aging. We'll learn the enduring wisdom of these centenarians to the awe-inspiring tales of those who've conquered the limits of age. Join us as we explore the lives of the 10 oldest humans to have ever lived. Number 10. Chitetsu Watanabe The world's oldest man, officially recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records in February 2020, at the remarkable age of 112 years and 344 days, left behind a bittersweet narrative. Unfortunately, he passed away just two weeks after gaining this prestigious title. Nevertheless, Watanabe's legacy remains tremendous. He had five children, two grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandchild. Born on March 5, 1907, Watanabe was the first of eight children born to Haruso and Mia. After completing his agricultural education, he worked on a sugar plantation before relocating to Taiwan. In Taiwan, he married Mitsue, and four of their five children were born there. Living in Taiwan during those years must have presented its own set of challenges, but Chitetsu's commitment to his family remained steadfast. He also served in the military towards the end of World War II in 1944. After the war, Chitetsu returned to his homeland of Niigata. This period was challenging for the family. Yoko Watanabe, the wife of Tetsuo, Chitetsu's first son, recalled the difficulties they faced, with limited access to resources and food. Coping with these circumstances while raising four young children must have been incredibly tough. In 1974, Chitetsu and his son Tetsuo embarked on a project that would further cement their bond as a family. They built a new house together, complete with an acre of land where they cultivated crops like potatoes, tomatoes, strawberries, and plums. This endeavor not only provided for their needs, but also served as a shared family project, reinforcing the values of hard work and togetherness. Chitetsu Watanabe's parenting style, characterized by resilience, responsibility, and the importance of family, undoubtedly left a lasting imprint on his children. His experiences, from agricultural work to wartime service and building a family home, provided valuable life lessons that transcended generations and contributed to the enduring legacy of the Watanabe family. When asked about the key to his long life during an interview with a local newspaper, Watanabe offered sage advice. He said for people not to get angry and keep a smile on their faces. His wife attested to his gentle nature, revealing that she had never witnessed him raise his voice or become angry throughout their more than 50 years of marriage. Their harmonious living arrangement under one roof, which included grandchildren and great-grandchildren, brought him immense joy and contributed to his ever-present smile. Number 9. Edna Parker As a remarkable woman with deep roots in Shelby County, Indiana, Edna Parker lived a life filled with significant moments and enduring connections. Born and raised on a farm in the vicinity of Bengal and Hendricks Township, Edna's early years were shaped by the rhythms of rural life, where a traditional farm diet rich in meat and starch was the norm. After completing her education at Franklin High School, Edna continued her quest for knowledge by enrolling at Franklin College. She aimed to acquire a technical credential, a testament to her determination and dedication to learning. This educational journey would eventually lead her to a fulfilling career in teaching. In 1913, Edna Parker embarked on her teaching career in Smithland, Indiana, where she took charge of a two-room schoolhouse. Her role as an educator allowed her to impart knowledge and shape young minds, leaving a lasting impact on her students. Her personal life was marked by her union with Earl Parker, a neighbor and companion in life. Tragically, Earl passed away on February 23, 1939, leaving Edna to navigate life's challenges as a widow. Together, they had welcomed two sons into their family, Clifford and Earl Jr., Although she outlived her beloved sons too, 
Edna's love for them and her pride in her extended family remained unwavering. Edna's family tree extended to include five grandchildren, 14 great-grandchildren, and 13 great-great-grandchildren. Her role as a matriarch brought her immense joy, and she cherished the bonds forged with each generation. She lived alone on the family farm for an astonishing hundred years. Even at that impressive age, she possessed the agility to climb a ladder and tackle tasks like fixing a light, as her grandson Donald Parker fondly recalls. However, as the family became aware of Edna's continued ladder-climbing escapades, they felt a growing concern for her safety. The love and care they held for her prompted them to make her move in with relatives, a decision made out of a desire to ensure her well-being. Notably, she celebrated her 115th birthday in a style that reflected the zest for life that had characterized her journey. She released 115 multicolored balloons into the sky during a private family gathering on April 20, 2008, following a public event on April 18, 2008. These celebrations marked her as one of the 21 people at the time with a verified 115th birthday, a testament to her status as a super centenarian. Edna Parker's legacy lives on, a testament to a life well lived. However, on November 26, 2008. She peacefully passed away at the age of 115 years and 220 days while residing in an Indiana nursing home. Her remarkable journey through life, filled with love, learning, and family, remains an inspiration for generations to come. Number 8. Nabi Tajima. Born on August 4, 19, in a quaint Japanese village, Nabi Tajima lived through an era of remarkable change. She was raised in a large family and was the seventh of eight siblings, experiencing the simplicity of rural life. She married Teichi Tajima and together had nine children, showing her dedication to family. However, what truly distinguishes Nabi Tajima's life is her extraordinary longevity. She reached the remarkable age of 117 years and 260 days, becoming one of the oldest verified individuals in recorded history. Her remarkable age made her not only a source of pride for her family, but also a symbol of longevity for Japan and the world. Her life spanned a period of significant historical events, and she had more than 160 descendants, including great-great-great-grandchildren. Born during Japan's Meiji era, she also witnessed the country's transformation into a modern nation. She lived through both World War I and World War II, and she saw Japan's post-war reconstruction unfold. Her experiences offered a unique perspective on the tumultuous 20th century. Nabi Tajima's secrets to a long life, like many supercentenarians, remain a subject of fascination. Her relatively simple and active lifestyle, along with strong connections to her family and community, were contributing factors to her long life. On April 21, 2018, Nabi Tajima passed away marking the end of an era. Her legacy extends beyond her remarkable age. She serves as a reminder of the profound changes Japan underwent during her lifetime. Number 7. Kane Tanaka This woman ascended to the title of the oldest living person following the passing of Chiyo Miyako. Kane's secrets to her long life were simple, yet profound. They were family, sleep, and hope. Born in 1903, Kane Tanaka's journey through life was marked by significant historical events. She married Hideo Tanaka in 1922, and together they raised a family of five children. During World War II, when her husband and eldest son Nobua were deployed for service, Kane took charge of an udon noodle restaurant, showcasing her strength and determination during challenging times. The post-war era brought significant changes to Kane's life. She and her husband embraced Christianity and embarked on a new venture as the owners of a rice shop. Kane witnessed the transitions of Japan through five imperial reigns, starting with the Meiji era, which concluded in 1912. Her longevity allowed her to be a living witness to Japan's modern history. Kane Tanaka, with her unwavering faith in God, cherished her family, emphasized the importance of sleep, maintained a hopeful outlook, enjoyed a healthy diet, and even mastered mathematics. She firmly believed that these elements played pivotal roles in her long and fulfilling life. Her exceptional longevity, along with that of Jean Calment and Sarah Naus, 
has sparked intriguing speculation about the upper limits of human lifespan, potentially reaching 115 to 125 years. In anticipation of the 2020 Summer Olympics, Kane Tanaka was slated to carry the Olympic torch, but she had to decline due to the surge in COVID-19 cases in Japan, a decision that underscored her practicality and concern for safety. Kane Tanaka achieved a historic milestone, becoming the third verified person in history to reach the age of 119 on January 2, 2022, following Sarah Knaus, who celebrated her 119th birthday on September 24, 1999. On April 10, 2022, at the age of 119 years and 98 days, she surpassed Sarah Naus's lifespan, making her the second oldest verified human ever. Sadly, Kane passed away on April 19, 2022, in a hospital in Fukuoka, just nine days after achieving the distinction of being the second oldest verified person in recorded history. Her life, filled with resilience, faith, and a positive outlook, remains an inspiring example of the potential for remarkable human longevity. Number 6. Chiyo Miyako Chiyo Miyako, a resilient Japanese woman, held the title of the world's oldest living person for an impressive three months, starting from April 21, 2018. Although she currently ranks as the third oldest Japanese individual in recorded history, following Kane Tanaka and Nabi Tajima, her life story is nothing short of remarkable. Chiyo Miyako was born on May 2, 1901, in Yuasa, Wakayama Prefecture, Japan. Interestingly, she was the fourth of five children, but due to the unfortunate loss of her older siblings at a young age, she essentially grew up as her parents' first child. She did have one younger sibling. Miyako's early years were marked by a passion for education. She found joy in her school lessons, and from a young age she developed the skill of calligraphy, which she continued to practice even in her later years. After completing her education at the girls' school, she pursued further studies at the Osaka Telegraph School. It was during her time in Osaka that she crossed paths with a man named Katsuji Miyako, who happened to be a student at Kyoto University. Their love story led to a discreet family wedding, as Katsuji was a student at the time. Reflecting on their union, Chiyo Miyako noted that it was a good match and their marital life was truly wonderful. Their love story, grounded in mutual respect and understanding, endured through the years. It's a testament to the enduring power of love and companionship, even in times when life's circumstances might have called for discretion and pragmatism. Known affectionately as the goddess among her relatives, Chiyo Miyako was remembered as an outspoken individual who exuded patience and kindness toward others. Her charming personality left a lasting impression on those who knew her. On August 3, 2015, at the remarkable age of 114, her age was officially verified by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare and validated by the Gerontology Research Group. Following the passing of 114-year-old Kyoko Ishiguro on December 5, 2015, Chiyo Miyako became the oldest living person in Kanagawa Prefecture. It's worth noting that Ana Vela Rubio of Spain, who shared the same birth year of 1901, sadly passed away on December 15, 2017, making Chiyo Miyako the last surviving person born in that year. Nabi Tajima's passing on April 21, 2018, marked a significant milestone in Chiyo Miyako's life, as it catapulted her to the position of not only the oldest living person in Japan, but also the world. Chiyo Miyako's longevity and her fascinating journey through life continue to serve as a source of inspiration and admiration. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. This fascinating picture piques our curiosity about how the oldest man in the world breaks the silence before his death and reveals his secret. We know that old people are always more than eager to talk about how they've lived so long. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to identify the man in this picture, but he reminds us of an elderly monk who once seemed to defy the laws of aging. This individual, known as Luang Po Yai, led an astonishing life that spanned 109 years. His longevity was attributed to a combination of factors, including his unwavering dedication to meditation, a tranquil existence, and the contentment he found in family life. However, shortly before his passing, Luang Po Yai unexpectedly became an internet sensation when his granddaughter shared a video of him in his fragile state. 
What followed was a wave of speculation and wild claims from the online community, some asserting he was 169 years old, while others went as far as to suggest he might be a 399-year-old individual. It's remarkable how a single image can ignite such curiosity and fascination. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to confirm if this is another picture of Luang Po Yai, or if this is just another man on the internet who hasn't been discovered yet. Who do you think is in the image? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 5. Doña Leandra Becerra Lumbreras While not claiming to be the absolute oldest person ever, Leandra Becerra Lumbreras made a notable claim to have reached the impressive age of 127 years. Her longevity is truly noteworthy. Also, her claim is quite plausible, considering it's not very far off from the previous record of 122 years. She was born into a world of historical change and transition, and her journey began in an era when records and official documentation were not as rigorously maintained as they are today. Leandra's secret to her long life was rooted in two simple yet essential elements, a balanced appetite and the gift of adequate sleep. It's not surprising that these qualities are often associated with longevity. Her life was marked by endearing habits, such as singing to her grandchildren and captivating the admiration of young men who visited her. Although she never married, Leandra was a mother of five children, all of whom had passed away before her. We don't have extensive details about her children's lives when they lived, but we can imagine the love and dedication she must have poured into their upbringing. Becoming a mother to five children is no small feat, and it's a testament to her resilience and maternal love. Throughout her life, she displayed incredible strength and resilience by supporting her family through her work as a seamstress. Her generosity shone through as she continued to engage in lively conversations, despite her partial deafness. As the years advanced and her children were no longer by her side, Leandra's legacy endured through her numerous descendants, including grandchildren and great-grandchildren who brought her immense joy. Her grandchildren played a significant role in her later years. They provided her with not only companionship, but also the assurance that her legacy would endure. Through them, she experienced the joys of watching her family grow and flourish. Their presence assured her that her legacy would live on, a testament to the enduring impact of a life well lived. Leandra Becerra Lumbreras' story is a beautiful example of a life enriched by love, family, and simple pleasures. Her longevity serves as an inspiration, reminding us of the potential for a fulfilling and enduring life rooted in love and cherished moments with loved ones. Number 4. Emiliano Mercado del Toro Emiliano Mercado del Toro's life was truly extraordinary, and his recognition as one of the world's validated oldest living persons marked a remarkable chapter in human longevity. He passed away on January 2, 2007, at the incredible age of 115 years and 156 days. What makes Emiliano's story even more extraordinary is that his age went largely unreported until he reached the age of 110. It was only then that an article about him during a parade in his hometown of Puerto Rico drew attention to his fantastic lifespan. Following this newfound recognition, various documents were filed to validate his age, solidifying his position as one of the world's oldest people. Emiliano Mercado del Toro's memories spanned an incredible period of history. He could recall being a toddler when U.S. troops invaded Puerto Rico in 1898 and vividly remembered the conflicts that ultimately ended Spain's colonial power in the Americas. His longevity, he claimed, was attributed to his daily diet of boiled maize, codfish, and milk cream-like meals. But perhaps equally important was his sense of humor, which he believed played a pivotal role in his long life. Emiliano was known for sharing jokes and hilarious anecdotes, a trait he carried with him until the very end. One intriguing story from his life was his claim to have been at a dancing club, which was a euphemism for a bordello owned by Isabel Luberza Oppenheimer, better known as Isabel La Negra, on the day she was assassinated. Emiliano, then 83 years old, recalled concealing himself behind a table when the attackers opened fire. When asked what he was doing there, he humorously responded that he was praying, or at least trying to, when the bullets started flying. He held a unique distinction in the annals of military history. As a veteran of World War I, 
he holds the record for the longest surviving veteran across all military forces. This accomplishment earned him an honor from U.S. President Bill Clinton in 1993 when he received a medal commemorating the 75th anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I. Emiliano may not have had a spouse or children, but he often joked about having three girlfriends throughout his life. He found fulfillment in his work in the cane fields, a job he continued until the age of 89, which undoubtedly contributed to his happiness and sense of purpose. His life is a witness to the incredible potential for human longevity. His humor, resilience, and the extraordinary span of history he witnessed make his story a remarkable one, highlighting the richness of a life well lived. Number three, Dharam Pal Singh Gouda. Dharam Singh Gouda, a remarkable 120 year old man from the scenic marine hamlet of Gouda, India, boldly asserts that he is the world's oldest living person, citing his date of birth as October 6, 1897. Dharam Pal's life story is as captivating as it is impressive. Hailing from a farming background, his journey into the world of marathon running began during his teenage years. Dharam Pal attributes his enduring physical fitness to a disciplined diet that he has adhered to since childhood. This disciplined approach to life has been a cornerstone of his longevity. His daily meals include homemade chutney, mineral water, and refreshing lemon juice. His diet is a reflection of his dedication to a healthy way of life. He proudly mentions that he's refrained from consuming ghee, fatty foods, alcohol, and tobacco throughout his life, adhering strictly to a vegetarian diet. His devotion to a disciplined lifestyle, including a well-balanced diet and healthy habits, served as an example to his family members and contributed to his enduring physical fitness. While Gouda's life story has garnered attention due to his extraordinary age and athletic achievements, it's important to recognize that his family played a central role in the tapestry of his life. They were witnesses to his journey, sharing in both the ordinary and extraordinary moments that defined their family bonds. The claim of being the world's oldest person naturally raised some skepticism. However, Dharam Paul has solid support for his assertion. He may not possess a conventional birth certificate, but he presents official documents issued by the Indian government that indicate his birth year as 1897. These documents include his passport, voter ID, and other forms of identification. Beyond his remarkable age, Dharam Paul Singh Gouda's athleticism is another facet of his life that commands respect. He has an extensive collection of over 20 medals, earned from national and international competitions within his age group. One of the highlights of his sporting career was winning a gold medal at the Malaysia Championships in 2014. Dharam Pal Singh's life story is a testament to the potential for human longevity when combined with a disciplined and healthy lifestyle. His passion for running, unwavering commitment to a balanced diet, and strict vegetarianism have undoubtedly played pivotal roles in his remarkable journey through the years. His story serves as an inspiration, proving that age is no barrier to a life well-lived and a passion fully pursued. Number 2. Jiroemon Kimura Jiroemon Kimura, originally known as Kinjiro Miyake, was born on April 19, 1897, in Kyotango, Kyoto, Japan. Raised by his birth parents, Maurizio and Fusa Miyake, he showed promise in academics, and he graduated from school in Kamiokawa at the age of 14. At 17, Kimura began a 48-year career at the local post office, retiring in 1962 at the age of 65. During this extended period of employment, Kimura undertook various responsibilities within the post office, contributing to the efficient operation of postal services in his community. His role as a postal worker involved a range of tasks, from sorting and delivering mail to managing records and customer interactions. Kimura's dedication to this profession for nearly half a century suggests a strong work ethic and commitment to public service. His work likely connected him closely with the community, as postal workers often become familiar faces in the neighborhoods they serve. In his working years, he also held a position in a government communications department in Korea. This experience would have expanded his skills and broadened his horizons, providing valuable insights into international communications and relations. Upon his return to Japan, he married his neighbor Ye Kimura and adopted the name Jeroimon Kimura, becoming the ninth member of his wife's family to do so. 
This decision was made due to his wife's family's lack of a male heir. Even after retirement, Kimura remained active, working as a farmer and assisting his son until he reached the age of 90. However, Kimura's remarkable story doesn't end there. He achieved the extraordinary feat of living naturally until June 12, 2013, reaching the remarkable age of 116 years and 54 days. His legacy lives on through his descendants, including five grandchildren, 13 great-grandchildren, and 13 great-great-grandchildren. Throughout his life, Kimura held several notable records. He was recognized as the oldest validated man, one of the ten oldest individuals in recorded history, and one of Japan's oldest citizens. However, with time, he now ranks as the 22nd oldest person in the world. It's noteworthy that Kimura held the distinction of being the last validated living person born in 1897 and the oldest validated person to pass away in 2013. His remarkable longevity also earned him the title of the oldest verified resident in the history of Kyoto Prefecture. These facts stand as a testament to the incredible journey of Jiroemon Kimura. Number 1. Li Ching Yuan Li Ching Yuan was a man whose claimed age has stirred both intrigue and skepticism. According to his assertion, he was born in 1734 and lived an astounding 196 years, far surpassing established human longevity records. However, Confirming this exceptional lifespan remains a challenge due to the lack of concrete birth and early life records. Li Ching Wen's death in 1928 is documented, but the absence of verifiable facts surrounding his birth and upbringing casts doubt on his claimed age. He attributed his extraordinary longevity to his herbalist expertise, suggesting that he had unlocked the secrets of youth. Yet without tangible proof, these statements remain theoretical. The historical context adds complexity to the issue. Birth records for ordinary individuals from the 18th century and earlier were often incomplete or non-existent. Ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians, Babylonians, and Greeks, had rudimentary methods of recording births, usually restricted to the aristocracy or ruling class. However, it was during the Middle Ages in Europe that birth records began to take a more formal shape. The Catholic Church played a pivotal role in this process documenting births, baptisms, and other sacraments in parish registers. These records served both religious and administrative purposes. The Renaissance and Enlightenment periods in Europe ushered in an era of increased interest in empirical data and documentation. Birth registration became more systematic, expanding to include a broader spectrum of individuals beyond the nobility and clergy. The 19th century, however, witnessed significant developments in birth registration. Governments worldwide began to recognize the importance of accurate records for various purposes, including taxation, military service, and social welfare programs. Many countries passed laws mandating the registration of births and established civil registration offices. Recent decades have even seen better advancements in technology, making birth registration more efficient and accessible. Electronic databases and digital record-keeping have replaced traditional paper records in many places, simplifying the retrieval and verification of birth information. Beyond its practical significance, birth documentation also serves historical and genealogical purposes, allowing individuals to trace their family histories and uncover their roots. Unfortunately, these things were not available during Li Ching Yuan's time, and the historical gap makes it extremely difficult to validate his assertion of nearly two centuries of life. In the absence of substantial and irrefutable evidence, Li Ching Yuan's remarkable claim is likely to remain unverified, leaving us with an intriguing but enigmatic story. His case underscores the challenges in confirming the longevity of individuals from eras when comprehensive documentation was often lacking shrouding the secrets of extreme age and uncertainty. Now we've learned the habits the oldest people adopted to live rewarding lives, and how important family and community are in the life of the average human. Until next time, stay curious.